My name is Eleanor Osman, and this is... I'm Shirley Anderson. And we are the two big yes. cooks. <laughs> I'm a longtime newspaper food writer, and Soda was a leading caterer in Minnesota. And uh, we have done a book together called Celebrations to Remember, based on her catering career. And today we're going to do a recipe from that book, a Finnish coffee cake. Blueberry coffee cake. That's why we have blueberries here. And where did you get that recipe, Soila? That is my mom recipe from East of Finland. She usually, usually make that kind of uh, blueberry coffee cakes <laughs> almost every week. She skip it up so easily and it's very easy, very simple recipe and very tasty. I'm going to show you how we do that. But first, let's talk about blueberries a little bit. What do you remember about picking blueberries when you were a child? Boy, we, Finland, east of Finland, we had a lot of blueberries. Like last summer, you know, I was amazed my relatives take it, sent in photos, how much they been picking up by blueberries. We have usually a lot. And it's so tasty. And, you know, you can just, I love that to go in the woods and picking up by blueberries. Yeah. My grandmother called them mustika. Is, is that yeah, what you call them? Yeah, mustika, yeah. Mustika, gosh, I remembered a Finnish word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have memories of picking blueberries, too, uh, especially on my grandmother's farm north of Virginia, Minnesota. And uh, her property backed up to the granite hills of the Laurentian Divide, which divides the waters going into the Pacific or the Atlantic oceans eventually. And uh, it was... Uh, a wonderful place to pick blueberries because uh, there were, uh, I mean, just luscious blueberries all over. And I particularly remember just the sound of it, walking on the uh, those rocks, the, the crunch of the lichen and the blueberry bushes. Of course, uh, you always had to be careful uh, that a bear wasn't there snacking bush to bush. My mother was once picking blueberries up on those hills. And she saw a bear, and she ran oh, so wow. fast, she dumped out half of her bucket of blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, blueberries uh, are, are so Minnesota. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, Wisconsin. That's a surprise. I'm a surprise, you know, we have uh, lots of blueberries here. Yeah. Finland, we have a lot all over in Finland. But, you know, that's kind of nice to get it here, too. Maybe I can read something from that I wrote from uh, one of my Sunday columns in the Pioneer Press years ago. Time stands still in the blueberry patches of northern Minnesota. Last weekend could have been 30 years ago. The sensations, the pleasures, the pains remain unchanged when, with plastic pail in hand, I glean the goodness of nature. I love to be in a berry patch and hear the wood through the pines. The soothing symphony of woodwinds played in the tranquility of our favorite picking grounds not too far from our lake house. It was, it was tranquil until a carload of pickers, three generations strong, tramped into the domain. Ooh, I found some big ones, hollered a little seven-year-old, starting to pick her first blueberries. That could have been me many summers ago. Another sound is inevitable. Always, always, a single buzzing critter adopts me dive-bombing my hair, undeterred by my flailing hand. I usually give up the battle before the insect does. Whining mosquitoes discover all the patches on my person not sprayed with bug dope. They add to that exercise that is very picking, and this is how it goes. Jane Fonda, are you paying attention? Find a good spot, squat, pick, swat, pick. Scratch, pick, then stand up, stretch, move to another laden bush, and squat, swat, scratch all over again. Despite the bugs, there is a compulsion to pick blueberries in a good year, to turn aside the green leaves and find a cluster of edible sapphires, at least three carrots each. Blueberries are the jewels of a Minnesota summer. And muffins and pancakes and coffee cake are a reward for finding them. 
A summer without at least one batch of wild blueberry pancakes is like a lake without a lily. Mm -hmm. So that kind of sets the stage for talking about blueberries yeah, and, and baking, baking with blueberries. Yeah. So give us your memories about your mother making this coffee cake. You know, I, uh, I just always amazed, you know, how fast she's whipped up that coffee cake. She's heard about it, somebody going to come over, and she said, boy, you know, I think I'm going to whip it up the coffee cake. And that was out on the oven, then the people come, nice and fresh, and always tastes wonderful. But she baked it in a wood-burning oven. Yeah, yep. Yes. And that was, <laughs> that was for every day. Yeah. You can yeah. bake it, you know. I was throwing a yeah. coffee cake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let, the, the recipe, as I said, is in our book. It's a uh, picture of it is right there. No, it was up, up there. Oh, right up there. Yeah. Sorry. I'm looking at it upside down. Yeah. There's the picture of the blueberry coffee cake. And now, Soila, do you want to show us how you make it? Sure. I, I show how that whole thing I usually put together. Okay. 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 Now I'm going to show you how we start. First thing is the better, you know, you have everything ready. Put your pan ready. I'm using, you know, string pan. It's easy, you know, to always take it up, the part and coming up. And I... But all right, all over very well. And what I'm using, this is a very easy to use cream of wheat. I'm using cream of wheat and uh, spreading that cream of wheat, you know, all over. You can tap it, and you, that's an easy way to get your pan not to stick. And uh, everybody has cream of wheat. Yeah. Some way I think cream of it is easier than the breadcrumbs. If you have a breadcrumbs, you, you can certainly use breadcrumbs. And also it gives it a crunchy bottom, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, very crispy. Yeah. And here you are. That's ready to wait in, you know, when we are ready. We put it there and put it in the oven. Okay, now I'm going to start mixing up a cake. I uh, put first the dry ingredients. On a mixing bowl, this is a one and a half cup of flour. And after that, we have a one cup and one quarter of a bit of sugar. And that we uh, okay, one sugar is there. Now we put the baking uh, powder, that's a one and a half. This form is the baking powder. And now we mix it up with dry ingredients. And I'm cutting up a parole. This is a two stick a parole that's easy to measure it. And I cut little pieces, little by little, here with a dry mixer. And that is just a easy to be to. Mix it up and get really nice, uh, smooth dough. It's amazing, you know. All you know. I remember when my mom mixing up at Finland. We didn't have a mixer like this. Everything happened by hand. But uh, she made it so easy and. Fun and, and I always watching her how she did this. And everybody we just waiting when a uh, coffee cake came out of the oven to have a good uh, cup of coffee and fresh blueberry coffee cakes. Did your mother churn her own butter? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, yeah, that is absolutely. And that we mix it up, you know, it's just to make sure this is going to be, you know, nice and smooth and they mix together very well the dry ingredients and butter. I put that one teaspoon with vanilla and I have three eggs. We one by one mix it up there and you can see how nice and smooth you know that so is. We get in together very nicely. That's the last egg. Okay. And 
this is this is getting dead already nice and you can see how how simple and easy to make that so okay this is look like it's ready okay okay now we have a, a cake cake mix already and i put it on a pan it's a pretty stiff dough isn't it it is a very stiff dough but uh we will get that nice and smooth you know it i sometimes use a little knife to spread it out Okay, let's see. I kind of spreading out this dough kind of evenly. It's amazing when I, uh, you know, we put oven, you know, this just the smoothing up that whole dough doesn't have to be perfect smooth. You now the heat of the oven takes charge and makes exactly. it nice and smooth. Yeah, you know, this is just something, it's just a you know, has to be exactly really perfect for spreading out as long as you have a kind of even. Okay, and now time, you know, we bring our blueberries over. <coughs> Basically, I measure, you know, with uh, two cups of blueberries. This is a little bit more than two cups, but I'm using that later on to show how I make it. Finishing up decoration with these blueberries. But here you are. Now we put it in the oven. 350. Oven when we heat it. And four to five minutes. Here you are. Okay, now four to five minutes. We cool it down a little bit that cake. And you can take that thing up. That's a very easy way to do to it. And you can serve actually that blueberry thing like this. But I, many times I like to do little extra things to make it more blueberries with that. And I have here Africa jam with little water. I heat it up and I make it little glazed here to make sure that blueberries kind of stick here. Or if you don't want to put blueberries, that can make it really shiny and wonderful look, you know, like this even. I think in the book we say you could use uh, lingonberries for this recipe too. Oh, you can use lingonberries, or you can use apples, or you can use, you know, all kind of fruit, you know, to make it that same, same kind of coffee cake. Raspberries would be good too. Oh yeah. Strawberry rhubarb, I can do with rhubarb. And I put a little on plenty of blueberries here, they went go all over. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's why we need this Africa jam to set out them down. And that make it really a nice uh, look. When we have a, a fresh blueberries, you press them down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just to kind of even out a little bit. And now I put glaze over. You can wrinkle glaze to get them a little shiny, little happiness there. <laughs> and that's it. Down to Africa, give it a little, uh, a little tag. Yeah, you can use in Africa jam so many things. And I love that side look. Is that sign plenty? What do you think? Looks, looks pretty good. Okay. That is our blueberries. And now I'm going to put a little bit whipped cream. This cake is cool enough, you know, we're able to do. I have already whipped whipped cream here, and I have um, my pastry there. And uh, 
I use him always regular whipped cream. I don't use uh, any cool whip or it's a really old style heavy whip cream with little powder sugar. And that is really good combination. Okay. These pastry bags are wonderful to use. If you don't have, you can make it with the paper too, you know, it's got it. Wax paper works. Yeah. And you can see how vast actually you can do cake like that. It doesn't take very long. That would be a $25 cake if you went to the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, maybe we can put a little bit here too. Okay, <laughs> now what do you think we're going to have a time to cup of coffee and taste? I think we should. Okay. Okay, now we should taste. Yeah. Now we're going to cut and see how uh, how that cake really tastes. We have a piece of... Ooh, that's a big piece. <laughs> well... <laughs> Wow, Ooh, yum. Isn't that look good? You know, you have yeah, really cool. blueberries inside yeah. there. And that um, cream of wheat does make a nice crusty. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why you want to use that. Very nice. Very nice. Well, here we are. We've got our blueberry coffee cake, Finnish coffee, blueberry coffee cake, and coffee. You did a beautiful job, Sorla, as you always do. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to have a little taste here soon, but I do want to say that Sorla and I are lecturers of the year for the Finlandia Foundation. <clears throat> and if any chapters of the foundation are happening to watch this video, we're available to come to your home cities, your hometowns, and uh, demonstrate recipes. We've got all kinds of different ones we can do. Maybe you want us to make blueberry coffee cake again. <laughs> Or we have other things eat. we can do, and we're happy to come. So we'll just contact the Finlandia Foundation, and we will be happy to come to your towns and feed you well. So, kitos. <laughs> Hyvää ruokahalua. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> it means something like good eating, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, cheers. Cheers. Kipis. Kipis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Kitos. <laughs>